Yo guys, what are you saying? It's your boy Moyo. We're back with another video. I hope you're smiling. I hope you're having a good day. Now let's get it. Let's just get straight into it. It's part two. Well, in fact, it's like part 13 or something of dilemmas or solving your dilemmas. But uh, you know what? Just get straight into it. Dilemma number Wayne. My friend had a best friend who was very toxic and eventually let her go. We are now very close friends, but I'm seeing similar patterns to the toxic friends she had before. What should I do? Cut them off. <laughs> Cut them off. Uh, I, this whole toxic or like feeling someone out now. Nah. Now nah, give them like one or two chances max and talk to them about it. If they carry on doing that nonsense, cut them off. I want to be dominated in chains. Well, Ann Summers have good chains. Yeah, so Ann Summers or go to Amazon, buy the chains and then get someone that's gonna dominate you. I'd I don't even know if I could read this one out. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I could read this one out. Now this one is wild. I jerked off to Queen Elizabeth every single day. Is it wrong now that she's dead? You're sick. Chai, you're sick. I can't even think I could call you sick because at the end of the day, you might just be into older women. You get what I'm saying? She's not ugly, innit? Queen Lizzie, RIP to her. She did her thing. But now you want to carry on doing while she's dead. Chai, you know what? Let me just scroll before I say something crazy. Um, do you have any piercings? That's not a dilemma, but it's a question. I don't, you know, I don't. It, but I'm, I'm going through the stage of thinking I might want a small tattoo, which I never thought I'd say, and I might want a piercing. Just to see how it looked. I was so close to getting one. You know what? That's another story. Anyway, yeah, maybe one day. I fucked my best friend's mum, and now she's pregnant. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> you went to go and meet your best friend's mum and now she's pregnant? Now she's pregnant? <laughs> uh, bro, if I was you, <laughs> Billie Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl that thinks that I am the one. But the kid is not my son. Yeah, yeah, all of that. That is, that is EastEnders, that is Emma Dell, that is really Netflix type documentary. I don't even have advice for you. You're crazy. In fact, that's not your best friend. You're a scumbag. And so is your, so is your best friend's mum. Big, big scumbag. So my friend has an argument with her friend. Okay, there's just... Uh, some of these dynamics are so dumb, like... So my friend has an argument with her other friend, and my best friend is one is on the other person's side, but I am on the friend... Okay, no, I don't care. Next. So I male like my friend female but she has a boyfriend what do i do um she has a boyfriend respect their relationship and keep it stepping there's other people in the world you do know that you, there's other people if you don't know <laughs> if you don't know there's other people in the world what i'm a i'm a big woman no kids no man i will end up in mcdonald's no gcse's um you haven't got GCSEs at your age. Where are all the rich men at? Me. Oh, wait, no, sorry, no, no, sorry. I'm looking for a sugar mummy. Where are all the rich men at? Things are expensive. I'm ready to be a sugar baby. Um, to be honest, there's many sites for that. There's many sites for that. But once you find the sites, message me as well because I'm trying to be a sugar baby too. <laughs> My friend got a man now acting brand new. What should I do? I, don't, I hate when people do that. Like, you got a man or you got a girlfriend now and what, now you're different. You're not, you're still the same person. <laughs> You're still the same person. I'll, I'll bring you down to your level real quick. So apparently my childhood lover had asked me out and I said no because he, he doesn't fit the standards that I want in a man. But I feel like I still like him. So what do I do? Um, I don't know, talk to him, innit? <laughs> talk, talk to him, innit? Like, uh, I really want to meet you. How can I do it? I admire you so much. Oh. Oh, stop it. <laughs> no, thank you so much. Um, I can't lie. Just meet me on the street. If you see me, just call my name and I'll, I'll come over. Or you come over to me, like genuinely. I'm on talking to anyone and I'll take pictures. I'll take videos. I don't care. Like, I just want to show my little support to the people that support me. So yeah, catch me out in public. I don't know if I'll ever do like a meet up and that. I don't feel like I'm that big or that important. So um yeah, that sounds so depressing. It's not like that, like, just genuinely. I don't think people are going to turn up that. Yeah, you'll see me on the street one day. Or on stage. We never know. I'm in my second year, but my parents think I'm about to graduate because I lied. <laughs> I 
You know what? You're not the only person. I've I've met so many people along the way that have done this. Lie to their parents that they that they're graduating, but they're repeating a year. Um, I can't lie. You just have to come clean or say you're doing a masters. <laughs> Do you know how wild that is? I'm obsessed with Thai boys. Love dramas and I'm a straight girl. Okay. My brother's friend asked out my friend, but my friend don't... Okay, there's so many friends. Friend. My brother's friend asked out my friend, but my friend don't know if she likes him or not. How can I help her? I can't lie. You lost me at the first friend, so... Next one! Uh, my friend wants to know her ex is new. Why is it all friend? Are you, if you're talking about yourself, talk about yourself. My friend wants to know her ex's new crush but he won't tell her. So she asked me to do it. So I asked him, but he said he won't tell me because he won't trust me. So how do I get him to tell me? Okay, again, I feel like this is very childish. This is very childish. We're not gonna do childish. We're gonna go to the next one. Um, I got a girl, but I want you. Oh. Well, um, damn. I got a girl, but I want you. What do I do? Um, well, if you're a boy, sorry, broski, I just don't swing that way, innit? I'm flattered, though. <laughs> I'm genuinely flattered. Um, if you're a girl, again, like, don't be a scumbag. you got a girlfriend right there, innit? And um, <laughs> I'm not really looking for somebody right now, unless you've got money. <laughs> um, my, brother's itch my brother itches in between his toes and sniffs it. Any advice to stop him doing this? Um, Jesus, oh God. Why, but what possesses you to sniff between your toe and it? Like, bro, you're itching, you're itching your foot. I can't even lift my leg. You're itching your foot in between your toe and you're sniffing it. No, 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 seek help. Help, I think that one of my friends is toxic because she likes my boyfriend and tried to kiss him. Yeah, no, that's not a friend, man. You have to fight. <laughs> the only way to do it is fight. Like, how are you as a friend allowing... Now, how are you as a human being allowing your friend to try and kiss your boyfriend? Like, do you know how crazy that is? Do you know how mad that is? No, no, no. Dead. It. Oh, somebody has to... F Bro, someone ha You have to see blood, didn't it? You have to... I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, I'm not really joking. I think my friend likes my boyfriend because she tried to kiss him. Oh. So what, is everyone's friend just trying to kiss their boyfriend? That is crazy. That is crazy. Um, you don't, you didn't think, you know, he, she tried to kiss him. There's no think about it. You know that she likes him. So you need to cut them off and you need to fight. You need to show them that, listen, you're not, you're not a dickhead. You're not someone to play around with. Um, no dilemma, but your videos are amazing. Oh, thank you. Again, stop it. It's not that type of video. Now you're gonna make me blush. I once, I once, oh. I once staple gunned my sister's hand to a chair because I was mad at her. Oh my gosh. So we got a psychopath. We got a psychotic devil. We got a psychotic demon on our hands. All right, somebody call the feds. Somebody call the feds. No, please, I beg, I beg. You, um, <laughs> you know what? Just call the feds. Somebody call the feds. I wish I knew who this was from. Because if I knew, I would call your mum and dad. I'm 20 and I can't stop jacking off. What should I do? Um, just carry on. <laughs> uh, no, it is actually a problem. Um, there's obviously many benefits to it. But there's also quite a lot of negatives too. So if it's an actual problem, um, then I, you need to find a way or just stop yourself from, from you know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, it, or, or at least reduce it. Reduce it a little bit, you know what I mean? Let, let it build up or something. <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't do it, though. I love watching black guys cock print. Is that weird? So that's your fetish? <laughs> is it wrong to want sex every day? And how often do you have sex? Okay, that second question is wild. Why are you asking me that? Also, what's, oh, what, are you FBI? Are you FBI? Are you FBI? Um, to answer your first question, is it wrong to want sex every day? Uh, no, it's not. Sex is a normal human act. It's every human desire, well, not every human, 99% of the humans desire it. So like, if you can get it every day, get it every day. Just be safe. Don't know why you're asking the second question. You're a bit wild. Uh, when I wipe my ass and... Oh. Okay. 
When I wipe my ass and sometimes my finger go through and into my asshole, I quite like it. Does that make me gay? <laughs> Number one, <clears throat> I don't even think gay people like a finger up their ass while they're taking a shit. You're taking a, you're taking a shit and a finger goes up your ass and your initial reaction is, ooh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> if we're talking science, a finger up your ass is, go is going to feel good anyway because your G-spot is there as a male. Yes. Oh, scary. Yeah, there's, there's a G-spot in your asshole. <laughs> yes. Um, so you're not gay for liking a finger up your ass. But um, you liking it up your ass while you're wiping your bum while you've just taken a poo is very, very concerning. Very concerning. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of the dilemmas. I, I completely forgot how sometimes, how wild you guys are. But at the same time, I had a lot of deep stuff in there. And I, and I love talking to you lot. Like, I know I'm not talking to you directly because I don't know who it's from, but you know what I mean. Um, thank you so much for your support and continue to show your support by liking the comments. Uh, sorry, <laughs> you can like the comments as well, I don't mind. But like, comment and subscribe on the video. Don't forget to turn on that post notification. We're doing road to 50K subscribers. I want it by next year, March. I would love it by the end of this year, but obviously I don't know if I get support like that. So yeah, um, please, yeah. Keep showing your support. Follow me over on Instagram as well. I post a lot of behind the scenes stuff on there. I uh, love you for all your support. And um, yeah, see you later.